All right, everybody, just wanted to give you a brief update. Sorry about the late <laughs> the late switching of the lights, but uh, I'm about to get into a, a big exam that I need to take online. But I wanted to give you all a brief update on, uh, on what's going on with Tiger. It's not like you're following updates uh, by me. I think uh, ESPN definitely owns me on that. But Tiger Woods is four under through the fourth hole. He just bogeyed. The fourth hole, which he is a career 11 over par uh, uh, in the Masters for for that hole. It's definitely owned him. He did birdie the second hole, so he was 5 under. Now 4 under. Fred Couples is 7 under, but that's enough play-by-play. -play. Uh, real real briefly, uh, I just I just finished uh, listening to Colin Cowherd a little bit on the radio. I, I, I don't want to be... I don't want to copy... Uh, Colin Coward. I I want to be as original as possible, but I think for I think for a lot of things that uh, people people always obsess about originality and and whatnot. But at the same time, so much so much can be uh, can be offered from other people in the fields. I think sometimes people who say they they want to be completely original uh, also are a little too prideful, and they're not being honest with themselves and and honest with their. Um, with their professions. Uh, I mean, any heart surgeon wants to know as much as he can from his fellow heart surgeons. Any pastor, any public speaker wants to know as much as possible from some of the greatest uh, public speakers, greatest pastors, greatest, uh, you know, whoever in the field. Mark McGuire with Albert Pools. Albert Pools wants to learn as much as possible with, with Mark McGuire. And uh, that's, that's, the way I, that's the way I see people like uh, Colin Cowherd and he's one of the main sports talk personalities that I follow and that I listen to and that I try to uh, to emulate somewhat in at least the way I see I see the game and obviously we're all different so we're going to offer different different perspectives but that's a little that's just a little brief detailing of uh, of how I see uh, the sports out there and and what kind of commentator sports uh, sports reporter slash uh, story whatever I don't know where I'm going there uh, I'm sorry about that but real briefly there are still purists out there talking about tiger tiger not good for the tournament I I think that I think that's that's just that's nullified after uh, after yesterday how so many people tuned in to the masters they they have a they have a, a a leaderboard at the very top just addressing woods's score and woods is great for television people watch tiger woods uh, i'm not going to go and listen to listen to tiger talk about how to keep your marriage clean just the same way as i'm not going to go to a a, a financial a, a, a financial workshop where Charles Barkley is the main spokesman but I'm definitely going to watch T Charles Barkley on uh, on inside the NBA on TNT just as I'm going to watch Tiger Woods play golf and uh, and the best at w whoever's the best at what they do in some of these fascinating and fascinating fields it's very similar to uh, Joe West uh, a very long standing umpire uh, is complaining and said that the length of the games between the Yankees and the Red Sox is practically, he said, obscene and unbecoming for Major League Baseball. And I couldn't disagree with with Joe West more. Uh, first of all, nobody cares about uh, a majority of the other teams out there. I mean, there there are compelling stories like uh, you want to watch Tim Lincecum pitch for the San Francisco Giants. Uh, you you want you want to see right now Jason Hayward hit for the Atlanta Braves, but the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees offer offer a cavalcade of stars on both sides. Uh, I mean, you have you have Alex Rodriguez at third base, third base, Derek Jeter at shortstop. Uh, you have one of the fastest players in baseball in left uh, in left field for the Boston Red Sox, Jacoby Ellsbury, uh, Dustin Pedroia, who's just Great for the game of baseball. Ultimate scrapper. Just looks like Boston at second base. And seeing a little guy like him swing out of his shoes and, you know, three three out of ten times make contact with, 
which is what Hall of Fame potential Hall of Famers can do. There, they it is littered with talent, and who doesn't want to watch that for three and a half? You're not looking at your clock. You're not thinking. You're not creating your schedule. You are watching talented pitchers, talented hitters, talented feelers, talented baseball throughout those three and a half hours, and that's all we want. That's more interesting than what the Kansas City Royals, the Pittsburgh Pirates, whoever has to offer, and they can take as much time as they want, and I will watch as much Tiger as I want, and and as will the rest of America. So that that's why it's good for baseball. That's why it's good for golf, for Tiger Woods to be back, and people need to get over their, uh, their, their quixotic uh, fantasy lands where supposedly this never happens and uh, and enjoy what is happening. Fred Couples, Tom Watson, Phil Mickelson, Ian Poulter, Tiger Woods, Anthony Kim are in the top ten. And that's great for the young, for the old, for the purists, and for the pragmatists. And it's making for great television. And it's going to make for a great weekend in the Masters. So everybody have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll probably come back and see you uh, Sunday as the Masters comes to a close. And we'll get into some different sports topics uh, after that. So have a good rest of the day. This is Ginger on the Rocks, signing off.